Thanks to all of you for joining us today from around the world for this virtual edition of the Geif General Assembly 2020. And joining us from Rome is our president, Raffaele Culli. Over to you, Raffaele. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, or good evening to everybody. President, Secretary General, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear friends, welcome to a very special and also, allow me to say, very different uh, General Assembly. Thank you so much for uh, joining uh, us from uh, around the world. Even though many things may have changed in these past months, there is uh, one thing that has uh, remained the same. It's a great pleasure to be with you again. It has been uh, too long since uh, we have uh, seen each other. And I know you will agree that it would be nice for us to meet uh, in person. But I know you also understand that uh, due to the current situation, it is better to wait uh, a little longer for the pleasure of each other's company. I know that uh, many of you are now quite familiar with uh, virtual congresses. Many of you have organized webinars or virtual workshop for your own federations and organization. For me, this is another sign of the resilience and the flexibility our community has shown in the face of the pandemic. We have adapted. We have continued to deliver the best you could for your members, the athletes, the fans, the families. And I'm very proud that at Guys we have been able to do the same, to continue our support to you. It has not been easy, but it has certainly been done with our maximum commitment, passion, and energy. So please allow me to thank all the members of the guys team for their hard work. Philip, over to you for some uh, housekeeping. Thank you very much, uh, Raffaele, and welcome to all our members and guests. Today is an open meeting, so I would like also to welcome those members of the public and media who are joining us on our YouTube channel. Please note that the event will be held in English and there will be no translation available. This is our first virtual General Assembly and we will be using Lumi for the voting items. I'm sure many of you are already familiar with the tool. One member per IF will be connected via the Lumi portal and is therefore able to ask questions during the presentations and for the full members to cast a vote. We kindly invite now all members who have received the connection details and did not connect yet to do so. Lumi is a secure and independent remote voting system vote used by many IFs and the IOC. The training sessions have been followed by many of you so to assure a smooth running of the GA today. There will be a public notary, Mr. Edward Gardiner, in London to oversee the voting process. Before we proceed with the roll call and the test vote, we will receive a bit more detailed information on the voting system that we will be using today. To that end, I will now pass the floor to Mr. Peter Fowler, Managing Director of Lumi UK, to talk us through the voting system and proceed with a practice vote. Pete, over to you. Thank you very much, Philippe, and hello to everybody. So I'm now going to explain the voting portal and uh, explain all of the features that are within the actual portal itself. So as Philippe just described, if you are a voting eligible member or a member that is able to ask questions, then you must log in to Lumi and ensure that um, you are able to access the platform by entering your username and password as per your email instructions um, that you have received from Lumi. They are unique to you and to you only. Now, the platform itself, you will be able to ask written questions. You will be able to vote at the required times and, of course, watch the broadcast of the meeting. If you wish to ask a question, then you must click on the messaging icon 
within the platform. Here, you will be able to type in your question and then click on the send icon within the platform. All questions will be moderated and then sent to the team. As a repeat, you can also use that uh, comments box for any support issues. We will endeavor to support you as best as we can. Alternatively, please use that email address and telephone number provided on screen right now if you do have any problems whatsoever. Now, importantly, when it is time to vote, the vote will be introduced and will be introduced um, by our public notary who is joined here um, with us today, Mr. Edward Gardner. Can I reiterate that all voting is a secret ballot? Mr. Gardner is here as a public notary witnessing everything relating to the voting and is the independent um, individual who will be watching everything. To vote, you simply click on your desired choice. The voting will appear automatically within the platform. It will show the motion text and the possible voting options. To vote, you simply click on your desired choice. In most cases, that will be a yes, no, or abstain question. When you click on your desired choice, it will become highlighted and you will see a vote received message appearing just above the voting options. Now, Mr. Gardner will also inform you when there are 20 seconds remaining and 10 seconds remaining for the poll. Once the poll is closed, you can no longer change your vote. We will then present the results to you within the broadcast panel, displaying all results. So with that, I am now going to progress to a test vote to ensure that everybody is comfortable with the voting process. The vote is the weather will be sunny tomorrow. The poll is now open, so please do click on your desired choice. That is a yes, no or abstain vote, so please do cast your vote now. The poll will remain open for a further 20 seconds. That is 10 seconds remaining for the poll. I can now declare that the poll is closed and we will now present the results to you live. So currently, the total possible votes we have the, at, at the current time is 63, of which there were six abstentions or blank votes. Therefore, at the moment, a combination of yes and no, 57 valid votes were cast, 43 were yes, and 14 were no. So that concludes the test, Philippe, which was successful, and I will now hand back to you. Thank you very much, uh, Pete and the Lumi team, for these explanations. Now, this is the theory, um, and we hope it will work for all of you today. Um, but should this not be the case and you require any technical support um, during the meeting, please do not hesitate to let us know. I think we can, again, display the phone numbers to make sure uh, everybody has the contacts, should there be any issues. So I think that's it for the moment uh, in terms of housekeeping. Um, over to Lumi for the roll call. Thank you very much, Philippe. And um, we are now going to present the roll call slide to you. I can see that some people have now logged in uh, since our, our little test there, but we can now present to you that we currently have 66 members present, voting members present. That is 66. Back to you. Thank you very much. Um, President, over to you.
Thank you, Philip. So we go to the point uh, number three of the agenda, which is the adoption of the agenda for the 2020 Guys for General Assembly. The agenda has been uh, circulated uh, a month prior to the General Assembly as per our uh, statutes. We did not uh, receive uh, any comments or addition and we can therefore consider the agenda approved. Philip, back to you. Thank you very much, uh, President. We can now continue with point number four of the agenda, the nomination of the steward and two scrutineers. Now, given the virtual environment uh, of this year's General Assembly, we will not have the usual steward and scrutineers to oversee the votes. But we have, as mentioned earlier, Mr. Edward Gardiner, the notary, pu is notary public in the UK, and is overseeing the votes from the Lumi offices and will attest the result of the votes. President, back to you. Thank you, Philip. We move uh, to the point number five of the agenda, which is the approval of the minutes of uh, our 2019 uh, General Assembly. According to our statutes, uh, the minutes uh, of the previous General Assembly have been circulated and we do we did not receive any comments. We will therefore proceed with the vote to approve the minutes. Mr. Gardiner, over to you. So the, the uh, vote is to approve the minutes of the 2019 General Assembly. The poll is now open. The poll will close in 20 seconds. The poll will close in 10 seconds. The poll is now closed. <laughs> The results are as follows. Yeah, the uh, results were as follows. There were 67 possible results, five abstentions and blank votes, and there were 62 valid votes cast. Yes, 62. No, zero. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Gardiner. So with uh, 62 valid uh, votes cast, the minutes uh, are approved. Now, please allow me to keep uh, the floor for a summary of our key activities over the last uh, 18 months since uh, our uh, General Assembly in uh, Gold Coast last year. We can uh, all be proud of the way our community has uh, reacted and uh, adapted. We should be proud of the way we have continued to deliver on our promises. And we have continued to walk the talk. There is certainly much to tell you about the way GAISF has continued to deliver since uh, we last uh, met formally in Gold Coast. I will do my best. It has been uh, a year and a half of uh, remarkable achievement, especially since uh, many of them have been uh, in the face of uh, remarkable challenges. Thanks to your leadership, uh, sport has remained a beacon of hope and so much more throughout the pandemic. Of course, the pandemic uh, has also required more than hope. We have needed the practical solution that change people's life for the better. And you have delivered this. When uh, the first wave uh, hit uh, and the first uh, lockdown became our new reality, sport was there 
to make our daily lives healthier and more tolerable. With our sporting heroes right next to us, giving their guidance and uh, encouragement, we kept active uh, in our own homes. We shared inspirational moments that we could uh, never forget. I'm sure we all have a favorite, but as a president of guys, I know I'm not meant to ever single out uh, just one sport, but I'm sure you will understand if I tell you that one of my favorites was the two Italian girls playing tennis on the rooftops. Perhaps you could see this short clip uh, just one more time, please. This is incredible. I, I love it. And uh, this was in, uh, in Finale Ligure in, uh, in Italy. With uh, the exercise uh, being the one of the only legitimate uh, reason to leave uh, the house, we saw a big growth in running, in cycling, in outdoor swimming, and uh, many others. Then, after the lockdown, the success of bubbles in many professional sports showed it was possible to resume activities safely. Sport showed once again how it can bring communities together and help us focus on the beauty of team effort, on the lessons of winning and losing with uh, grace and fair play. Lessons that I believe uh, are more important now than ever. And uh, as we've seen from our time together at the IEF Forum just a few days ago, guys members are now actively working on making sure that sport will be a leading actor in the post-COVID-19 recovery. Allow me to say to you all simply bravo. As uh, you would expect, uh, guys has been uh, busy too. And uh, as your partners, we have helped deliver innovative sport, uh, like in Budapest uh, uh, last year, where we have uh, organized the World Urban Games. It proved to be a wonderful festival of sport and culture. It uh, attracted the young people and families alike. I do believe that we have some uh, highlights to show you. Please. Nothing compares to the face and the fears I take on the world with a shot in my eye. I'm on a new level, whole different era. I'm breaking the barriers, crossing the line. Try to knock me all five times, and as time flies, I'll be back in the light. I'm indestructible, highly combustible. I'm the unstoppable spirit of child. I'll be the maker, creator, the champion. Opportunity, come and me jump on. I'm ready to rock, I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to battle the next man. Now, ain't no question what the cost, ain't no stopping me. I'm in the game, this is my home, I'm with my family. I'm building up muscle, I'm building up strength, I'm building a legacy. I'm next generation, yeah. And I'm Fantastic. We look forward uh, of uh, many of these uh, urban sports uh, enjoying the Olympic debut next year in uh, Tokyo. Uh, they are here to stay, and so is the World uh, Urban Games. Please allow me to repeat uh, my thanks to the team that work alongside the International Federation and the local organizer to put on this uh, wonderful 
event. Thanks for the hard work that uh, enabled us to deliver an event that met and even surpassed the expectation we had for the World Urban Games. And in delivering the World Urban Games, we were also able to celebrate the vision of our much missed friend, Patrick Bauman. Less than 12 months after his uh, passing, with his wife, uh, Patricia, and his uh, lovely son, uh, Paul. And I must say, it was uh, very special for me to have uh, the honor of presenting uh, the medals for the three by three basketball together with uh, Paul, the young son of uh, Patrick, as he saw either legacy in action. Throughout this uh, period, uh, we've been very, <clears throat> we've been uh, by your side uh, with targeted uh, support based on what you have told us uh, interests you most. We know that you are determined to ensure your organization are fit for the future. So we've been happy to help you with improving governance. I know that uh, many of you have been making good use uh, of the reports and the uh, recommendation we provided uh, to you. Promoting clean sport and protecting clean athletes has uh, long been a priority for uh, guys. We know it's a priority for you too, and we've been happy to help you on making sure you are ready to adopt and implement the 2021 uh, WADA code in partnership with uh, our friends at the ITA. When the scope uh, and the scale of the pandemic became apparent, we advocated for assistance for international federation where we could. We've done our best. We quickly adapted to the situation, and I'm proud of the way our team continued to be present, whether it was from home or from the office. Our council members also remain fully present, and this has also been the case for our membership commission, as you will see later. We have seen that in the absence of competition, many of you have taken some time to reconsider your branding, your governance, your strategies, your anti-doping programs, and so on. And we have been happy to support this work. We are happy to see that you were able to weather the storm so far, but we also see the storm has not yet passed, which is why we are committed to a temporary reduction of your membership fees for the coming year. I repeat it, which is why we are committed to a temporary reduction of your membership fees for the coming year. But please do not think that uh, if we commit uh, to a reduction in membership fees, there will be also a reduction in services. I can assure you, this is uh, certainly not the case. In fact, I believe we will be doing more for you than ever before. We know that we have the ability to shape the future, and we know how important is uh, that the future has to be sustainable. And uh, as you all know, sustainability is a subject which is very dear to my heart, which is why I am very proud that we will give our first Guys Sustainability Award later this morning. It is also why I'm very proud of our sustainability portal created with the support of the International Olympic Committee. We have the chance to go into a bright future with some new members uh, 
of our family too. Today, we will have the opportunity to welcome the World Transplant Games Federation and the Association of Paralympic Sport Organization as associate members and the International Tech Ball Federation as a member. Allow me to conclude uh, by saying that uh, as uh, individual members of GEISF, we are all drops of water, some uh, larger, some smaller, but together we are an ocean, together we are stronger. I look forward to meeting you all in person. And this concludes my summary report. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, President, for your report. And allow me to introduce the next point on the agenda, which is point number seven, the financial matters. Uh, now, unfortunately, Ms. Marisol Casado, our treasurer, won't be able to join us today and presents her apologies. She has asked me to provide you with a short update on the financial matters, so please allow me to convey some words on her behalf. After the significant impact of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, it goes without saying that Geifs also had to adapt to the situation over the past months. The budget presented in the working documents has been established end of 2019 and should be presented, should have been presented in April at our General Assembly. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 and the postponement, the budget, as it was established, is not reflecting the reality anymore and we are getting closer to the end of the year now. Many costs have been saved due to the reduced activity and especially the reduced travel. This should also be reflected in the end of year forecasts. Regarding the audited accounts 2019, BDO has 